round of the Rainbow Collection and the second round of the Take a Bow Division Battles. We've got some underdogs here and some under bees. Ah, let's get to it. It's almost time for the model cup caterpillar to start making his cocoon. But instead, it is Marshmallow Magic to the Duke's home habitat in the Sontra Forest. The Duke picks up some leaves to eat, and the caterpillar is on one of them. The Duke starts to bite down and shrieks in pain. The caterpillar has stabbed the Duke in the lip. The Duke drops the leaves, and, and it leaves, and the caterpillar is going on to the Sweet 16. The leatherback turtle can weigh as much as 4,100 stoats. Ah! Meanwhile, the pronghorn can weigh up to 318 stoats, which is still a lot of stoats. The pronghorn was transported to the leatherback turtle's home habitat and landed right on top of the turtle's back in the ocean. The pronghorn was surprised and then shocked as the turtle rolled and dived plunging it into the water. The pronghorn began swimming to shore, its lacerated back stinging and bleeding. Oh my back. Suddenly, a shark fin sliced the water. It, it, it's the great white shark and, and the swamp nightjar. The battles are colliding. You what? The shark launches itself at the nightjar, but misses, and the nightjar flees the scene. But the shark smells blood in the water. Both the pronghorn and the turtle are swimming towards shore, with the shark in hot pursuit. And the shark has caught up to the pronghorn. The shark takes a bite, and the pronghorn is sinking out of sight. Whew, okay, so the turtle and the shark have won. Hi there, it's Carl again, and I'm in the Lorenz National Park in Indonesia. The bower bird has returned to his home habitat and his bower is just in shambles. He's trying to fix it up, choosing some orchids to, you know, decorate the place with. And the bee's in one of them. Can you believe it? The bee has stung the bower bird right in the mouth. Oh my god! And fleeing the scene with the bee stinger still embedded in its mouth. <laughs> Somebody get that bird a toothpick. The bee wins! The Nicobar pigeon landed in Botswana and started wandering around in search of water. The thirsty pigeon was not paying attention to its surroundings, and sadly, it was soon surrounded by the jaws of the painted wild dog. Wild dog gets a meal and the win. Hey everybody, I'm on Guadalupe Island again where the opossum has just landed amongst the elephant seals on the beach. The possum looks a little unsettled, so he's looks like he's creeping along, trying to sneak between those seals, and uh-oh, steel pump just bumped into him, and <laughs> yep, there he goes. The opossum has gone catatonic again. Oh, a seagull has arrived, and it seems to think the possum is dead, and he's pecking at it. The opossum isn't reacting. Get up there, buddy. Do something. Uh-oh, here they come. Let's move on, shall we? The elephant seal wins. The Halloween crab found itself in China's Gurban Tungut Desert, home of the polecat, and the polecat noticed it right away. It went up to the crab and flipped it over, then chomped on a leg. The crab flailed about and slashed the polecat in the face. The polecat whipped its head around and yeeted the crab right ah! off the battlefield, tearing off its leg. The polecat gets crab leg and the win. And don't worry, the crab's leg grows back. The Mona monkey was hanging out by the Congo River when he noticed a strange disturbance underwater. The March Mammal Magic Portal was opening. The shrimp was being pulled toward the portal while also trying to defend itself against another mantis shrimp. The monkey watched, fascinated. Suddenly, gunshots rang out. Hunters were nearby. The monkey fled the scene, leaving the confused shrimp the winner. And now we have our Sweet 16. Could a non-mammal win this year's March Mammal Madness? We will have to wait and find out. Woohoo!